heard about clinical trials in the medical field, from medications to other treatments, everything has to be tested and approved. It's a very strategic you know, process. Absolutely, and here with more on the process is Teresa Solis with InTouch Clinical Research, along with Dr. Nancy Stevens, and clinical, she's the clinical director for the Advanced Laser Vision and Surgical Institute and study patient Kathy Colling, who we'll be hearing from in just a little bit. Wow, those were a lot of people to introduce there. Yeah, welcome, ladies. Thanks Thank so you. much for coming Thank into the you. show. So first of all, talk about uh, what makes um, you guys different from everyone else, because this is something that a lot of people suffer from. Well, what I would say makes us different is we're well experienced. Um, we provide compensation for time and travel. If the study patient participates and completes all five visits or four visits, whatever is involved for each study, and we're the best. And describe how it works. I mean, does someone yeah. then, do they, are they making weekly office visits? Do they come in once a month? I mean, if I sign up. Started, yeah. like, how does that process even go? Like Every study is different. So what we have to do is a pre-screening. So we'll talk with the patient, make sure that they even have dry eyes or whatever the process is for that particular study. And if they qualify to come in for a screening visit, we'll then bring them in and do the procedures that would either qualify them or disqualify them for the study. If it is five visits, they'll complete the entire five visits and be compensated for their time and travel. And Dr. Nancy, how, if people are afraid of participating in a clinical trial, I mean, it's mm -hmm. something that I've never done. It seems like it's new territory, could be scary. Mm -hmm. What do you tell people? It's nothing to be scared of. If you've ever been to the eye doctor before, it's a lot like a routine, comprehensive eye exam. Mm -hmm. So that's really how they get started when they come in for the screening visit that Teresa was talking about. It's basically a complete eye exam. Wait, so you go and you get an eye exam and then people, you get paid for it? That sounds pretty easy. Well, maybe we're doing the wrong thing right now. Maybe we should just dump shipping going. Exactly. Kathy, tell us about your experience. So um, dry eye is something that you were suffering from. Right. I've been diagnosed about five years ago. And dry eye, there are a lot of people with dry eye syndrome, and there aren't a whole lot of drugs out there to help. So by doing the clinical trials, it's very rewarding mm. to try the different studies that they do and hopefully that they will find something for everybody to mm. be able to help with this. But a lot of people will ask me if it hurts or if it's uncomfortable, and it definitely is not. Okay, they're not like sticking no, knives no, in your right? eyes. No. Dr. Nancy Stevens, uh, tell us about dry eye a little bit, because how do you sure. know, like we're here in the mall, sometimes if I'm in, a, in an air-conditioned car and the mm -hmm. vents are blowing in my face, you my feel, yeah. Yeah, your eyes feel dry. So how does someone know uh, if they if have dry eye syndrome like Kathy did? Sure. So, first of all, the symptoms of dry eye syndrome are burning, red, itchy, watery eyes. And is that all the time? We're seeing some, some graphics here on our screen, this picture. So, the, the eye on the right side, that the blood vessels... That would be irritated. someone that has more of a red, um, red injection is what we call that. The, other one is a white eye that's not maybe not, not be experiencing dry eye, but it doesn't mean that they don't have that dry eye. So a lot of times the redness is more moderate to severe. So a lot of patients may have dry eye and not necessarily know that unless they have a complete eye exam. So dry eye can affect many people. Almost 30 million people have reported symptoms of dry eye. And as we talked about that, um, it could happen to anyone. Um, patients that typically are women over 40, contact lens wearers, people that have had refractive surgery in the past, uh, sometimes even medications can cause dry eye, this redness burning, um, stinging, sandy, gritty feeling in your eyes. Teresa, I want to ask you, we just had an image up on our screen of the, like the really bright green eyes. There it is again. What's that? Oh, wow. What those are is when the patient comes in, Dr. Stevens has to do a procedure, which is we put the staining in the eyes. She then looks in with the slit lamp, That's which a is a microscope. Stain? Yes. Like a food coloring kind of thing. Cool. actually stains dead or devitalized cells on the cornea. So that's what you're seeing, those green spots on the cornea. This is green spots on the white part of your eye. That's your conjunctiva. So this is more of a severe form. 
um, patient that has this is definitely experiencing those symptoms that we talked about. And what so people might be wondering, you know, if they do have dry eye syndrome, what are some of the treatment options? How, how do you treat that? Sure, well there's many root causes of dry eye, so it's not just one thing in particular. What we are understanding is that there's an inflammatory process that's happening in your tears, causing this damage that you just saw on the cornea and the conjunctiva. And so there are two FDA approved medications addressing this inflammation. One of them actually just got approved two months ago, about two months ago with one of the trials that we were, were working on. Um, and there's also other causes that have to do with your eyelids, the function and the structure of your eyelids. So as I said, a comprehensive eye exam will actually help target the root cause and then treatment should be targeted towards the cause of your dry eye. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. I was just actually just about to ask that question. How do you determine the treatment with each patient? Does it depend on their condition, the situation, their medical background maybe? It sure does. It depends on their personal history, their medical history. Like we said, sometimes people with autoimmune disorders suffer from dry eye. And so that's something that your eye doctor will talk with you about to try to pull out well, what is causing your dry eye. Wow. Well, Teresa, Dr. Stevens, Kathy, thank you so much for coming in. See, live TV Thank goes you. by so quickly. So bad. I wish, <laughs> wish we could chat about this more. For more information on InTouch Clinical Research, you can call 281-338-0425. There's the info on your screen. You can also visit InTouchCRC.com. Thanks again to our guests. And we will be right back with much more Houston Life.